What's up YouTube and welcome to another draw along with me. Today's tutorial is this really cool desert scene with this nice planet in the background. It's a quick and easy fun tutorial to do. There's a link in the description down below so you can follow along with the exact same palette that I use in this design. As always, if you're new here, I post Procreate tutorials every week. So if you'd like a tutorial to follow along with, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so you get notified about all my new videos. Big shout out to my Patreon. If you'd like some more information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description down below where you can get access to exclusive tutorials and content. So I'll leave that link again down below. And as always, if you do like the video, hit the like button down below. It helps send my videos out to more people. And with that said, let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new canvas in the top right hand corner and the dimensions for this is 2500 by 2500 and my DPI is set to 300. So when we hit create we'll go through to our canvas and if you downloaded the palette in the description you will have all of these colors available to you for today's design. So first of all we are going to go to our layers. And on this layer here, we're gonna to go to our brush library and under airbrushing, we're gonna use the soft brush. Now, first of all, we can go to our colors and let's select this color here on the top row, second one in from the right hand side. And let's just drag and drop that onto the screen there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a gradient effect with all of these colors from right to left with our nice sort of sky scene. So let's go to the red first and let's then make our brush size roughly around about 40%. And in the bottom left hand corner, we're gonna make our way up towards the top left hand corner, but leaving a little bit of purple right up in the corner there and making sure we hit both edges as well. And now every color that we add in, we're gonna get slightly further away from that corner until we create a gradual change in the colors. And now we're gonna to move to the fourth color on the top row. And again, from left to right, sort of in a diagonal fashion, we're just gonna make our way up towards then the red that we just pasted onto the screen. And then we're gonna go to our colors and switch it out for the orange, which is the third color. And then we're gonna do exactly the same, making our way up towards where the last color ended. And then let's go to our colors again, switch it out for the second one. And let's just, add in that little bit of yellow. And then let's go to the final color in our colors, the yellow here, and just add some down here in this bottom corner. Now, if you're not happy with your gradient, you can simply go to your adjustments and Gaussian blur and select the layer option. And at the top here, you'll see a progress bar in a second of how much gradient you want to apply to the layer. And we're gonna go for roughly something around about 50% on mine anyway. It will vary depending on yours, as well as what you want it to look like. And then the only thing I'm gonna do is go to my layers and my cursor option and just make mine slightly bigger as I wanna make sure some of the yellow is offset in this corner and not so much so we get more of a, a ready purple sky. Now that's my background color set ready to go. We're gonna to go to our layers and we're gonna create a new layer. And then we're gonna go back to our colors and we're gonna select that purple again. So second one in from the right hand side and then we're gonna to go to our brush library and we're gonna use the option under calligraphy of monoline. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna reduce our brush size down to around about 15%. And we're gonna create an arc for the left side of the hill and then we'll create the little tail off as well. So what you wanna do is you wanna start from the left hand side and just create a nice little arc up on your screen such as that. And then if you hold your pen, you can get a nice arc and you can move it around and position it where you like it. So let's do something like that. And if I zoom in, I can just create the tail off of our hill. Now, because we did this on a new layer and we went from edge to edge, you'll be able to drag your color in like so. And now you've got your hill object here ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our layers. We're gonna create a new layer. We're gonna tap on that layer and make sure it's a clipping mask, which will clip it to this original shape that we just created in purple. We're gonna to go to our colors and we're gonna select this orangey yellow here on the second option here on the first row. And then starting from our peak up here, continuing with the monoline brush, I'm just gonna create an arc again, but something just down here. So we're gonna just arc this out down towards the bottom left hand corner. And now what we wanna do 
is you want to link that shape and make a shape all together. So we're going to go from where we started up here. I'm going to go all the way around. I'm drawing on the canvas and then meeting up to my little end point down there. And if I drag and drop my colour in, essentially I've just filled in that big shape that I just made. But because it's clipped to that purple, we can't then see all the excess up here and out of the way. So now let's add a nice gradient onto this yellow piece here that we've just added. So let's go to our layers and let's tap on that layer and make sure it's alpha locked. So now we can only paint with inside that yellow space. And then let's create a gradient in the opposite direction. So let's now move to the next color in this palette. So let's go to the third one on the top row and then switch back our brush from the monoline to the airbrush, the soft brush. And then my brush size is still set to, let's, let's reduce it, let's go to 30%. And then from left to right, I'm just gonna paint in that color like so, leaving a little bit of the yellow just up in that top right hand corner there. And then we're gonna continue to make our way down the palette. So let's go to the fourth color. And again, add that color in, but don't go all the way up now. You wanna leave a little bit of the last color you just painted roughly here. And then let's switch out to then the fifth color on this row. And then start from left to right, just sort of fade that color in like so. And then let's switch out to the final color, which is this purple here and then just add that in. Now we wanna be very careful with this purple, not to add too much, as otherwise it would bleed into this hill that we created. And just like before, if you're not happy with your gradient, simply go up to your adjustments, go to Gaussian Blur and Layer, and then swipe that from left to right, and you'll get a nice blurred gradient. And we'll do that for this one as well. And then finally, let's add in a little shadow here on this side of the hill. So let's also alpha lock then the hill. You can turn it on and off just to be sure. And let's turn on alpha lock and then let's go to our colors and let's select this dark purple that we've not used yet and then continuing with the airbrush we're just going to airbrush in this bottom right hand corner ever so slightly just to give a slight gradient between the two and now we've got this hill finished and completed we can go to our layers and let's swipe on both of them so you can highlight a layer by swiping it from left to right and now both of these are blue I can use the option of group and that's created a group and you can collapse a group down like so. It's an easy way of managing all your layers. Let's swipe that group to the left hand side and then we'll get the option of duplicate. And then on the second group, so the one underneath, we're going to go to our cursor icon. We're going to use the option of uniform and we're going to scale that down ever so slightly as well as then drag it up into position until we get something along the lines of that where we've now got our lovely two hills and the gradient looks really nice going from left to right on both of them. So now that that's done, we can move on to our planet that's gonna sit in behind them. So let's go to our layers again. Let's go to our background color. Let's create a new layer again. And then for this one, we can simply just continue with the color of the purple we've got selected, but we will need to change our brush in our brush library to the monoline. So we're gonna to go to calligraphy and select the monoline brush and it doesn't matter what size your brush is. I'm gonna make mine super big so you can see it on the screen. But all we're gonna do is simply draw a circle, hold your pen at the end to create an eclipse, but if you pop your finger on the screen, you'll also get a perfect circle. I'm gonna create one roughly around about that size there. I'm gonna drag and drop the color in like so. Now what we wanna do is just make sure it's in position correctly. So we're gonna to go to our cursor, make sure snapping is turned on. And what that will allow you to do is you can drag the shape. So I can see that horizontal bar, which lets me know I'm in the middle of the canvas from that point of view. And if I drag my circle around, I'll now also get the vertical line down the middle as well, letting me know it's perfectly in the center of the canvas that we've created. So this planet here, we're gonna use the gradient that we used in the background on that circle, and then everything will nicely flow into one. So we're going to go to our layers and we're going to swipe on this background layer here and we're going to duplicate it. We're going to then drag that layer above the circle we just created, which will then make that circle disappear for a second. But let's tap on the layer that we just used and let's make sure it's clipped. So now it's clipped to the circle that we made. Again, you still won't see anything until we go to our cursor icon. And then with the uniform option, just going to scale that down and you'll start to then see 
the boundaries of that circle now come into play again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip it vertically. We're going to flip it horizontally. And then we get our nice gradient that we created before. And this now reflects the background gradient. So it always really nicely contrasts to it, which looks really cool. So now let's go to our circle layer. And let's tap on that layer and use the option of mask. Now our mask allows you to show and hide parts of a design without actually permanently erasing it. You're just hiding them temporarily to an extent. So on this mask, we are going to go to our brush library and using the monoline brush still, when you're on a mask, it'll either be black or white typically. And if your color's not set to black, you can just double tap at the bottom of the disc now to select black. And making sure that we're on the mask layer, you'll know which one it is because it will be slightly more punchy of a blue. We're just going to erase part of this planet just to create what is essentially craters and just texture on the planet. So what we can do is we can draw a nice circle, hold your pen at the end to create an eclipse and then pop your finger on the screen to create a perfect circle and then drag and drop the color in. Now you've got two options at this point. You could create something else. You could create something like this, like a sort of random little shape and sort of squiggles and then fill them in. I'm going to use perfect circles just to match sort of the uniform look to this. But by all means, have a little play with your own style. I'm now going to add in some more circles, making some sort of slightly larger like that. Drag and drop the color in. And I'm going to continue to just create some sort of random pattern, but mainly towards the bottom right edge. We're not too fussed about adding anything up here because we're going to just erase that in a second anyway. And let's add another circle here, popping my finger on the screen to create a perfect circle again. Everybody's planet at this point will start to look slightly different to one another and that's ideal because you're adding your own flavor your own spin on it and then what you can also then do is just make your brush size like relatively small or big and just sort of tap away erasing very small sections of the planet and you can come up ever so slightly if you want to but eventually we'll probably erase most of the top edge of this anyway so you might not see the detail that you place in there and i'm gonna make my brush size maxed out at this point I'm just going to tap away. Let's continue to erase most of this right edge, leaving a little bit more over here. And just creating some really cool texture in this planet before we move on to the next section. Now, with the fact that it is a mask, if you make a mistake, you can sw simply switch back out to white and you paint it back in like so. So black hides and white reveals. And that's the sort of logic that you'll need going forward remembering masks. Now what I wanna do is erase this top edge of the little planet that we made. So I'm gonna to go to my layers again. I'm gonna to go to layer eight for me. I'm gonna turn it on and off just to be sure. I'm gonna to go to my eraser now. And under airbrushing, use the soft airbrush. And with my brush size set to around about 30%, I'm just gonna erase this top edge like so until it sort of pretty much fades out completely and then you can just about get an idea for the edge of the planet here on where it used to sort of sit and that's our little planet done in the background and the last little extra touch we're going to do is add some stars so let's go to layer one down here let's create a new layer let's double tap to select white in the top left hand corner and with the monoline brush selected reducing our brush size all the way down to one percent you just want to tap on the screen and create a nice constellation of stars across the sky, mainly up towards the top edge more than anything, but groups on together, you know, make nice little groups like that and also space some out as well. But be sure with the monoline brush just to tap rather than drag, otherwise you'll create a little line rather than a dot. And we're just tapping away on the screen Increase your brush size occasionally to something larger. I've gone for, mm, let's go even larger. Let's go roughly about 20, 20%. And when you tap on the screen, you'll get some nice brighter, whiter stars as well. And I'm just posting them towards the top edge like so. And now we've got a nice little sky forming. I'm just gonna reduce my brush size back down again one more time. And just add some more ever so slightly down towards the bottom edge but mainly focusing on the top 
up here. And then when I pinch out with two fingers and pop my four fingers on the screen to go full screen, we've got our finished design for today's tutorial. So it's a nice quick and simple one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like down below. It helps the channel out an awful lot. As always, be sure to share your designs with me on Instagram and tag me in them. And I'll share them to my story to give your beautiful creations the credit that they deserve. As always, big shout out to my Patreons. Again, I'll leave the link in the description down below if you're interested in taking a look at that and the exclusive content that you get over on Patreon. And if you are new here, I do post these tutorials every week. So if you'd like a tutorial to follow along with, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell so you're notified about all my new videos. And I'll see you in the next one.